Okay, I might just have my new favorite character, Big Muscle Man. Thick. Punches people really hard. Thick. Voiced by the one and only Daisuke Ono. Voice of Jotaro from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Sebastian from Black Butler. And whatever this thing is. Okay, but back to Genshin. Only problem is, how do I pronounce his name? Rio the... The Slay? Slay Queen! Is it Rizly? Riesly? Ricely? I've, I've heard everything. Alright, I need to Google this. Riesly is how you want to say it. This is an English surname. Uh, did I mention that he punches people really hard? Welcome back, bullies. Today we're leveling up. Is it Rizly? Riesly? Ricely? One of those. And role playing as Jotaro as I order, order everything on the map into oblivion. We'll be dumping a ton of resin into him, maxing out his weapon, talents, ascension, and artifacts, and then we'll be testing him out. So let's jump into it and see just how strong Riesly is. Rizly, Weird the Slay. It's 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 one of them. If I say every single name, you can't get angry at me in the comments, okay? But before we get into that, wait, wait, wait. What, what, what's going on? Ah, much better. Let me introduce you to Gera Booster. You know that feeling when you play your favorite game but can't enjoy it because of the high ping? Gero Booster's got you covered. It's a boosting service exclusively dedicated to gaming. It reduces latency, prevents packet loss, and stabilizes the network connection for players, particularly when they're playing games on foreign servers. So how does it work? Gero Booster avoids heavy traffic routes and reroutes to a dedicated pathway. What does that mean? Well, to put it simply, it just makes sure that you're always on the fastest server at all times and is giving you the best and shortest connection to it. Sounds good, right? Well, it gets better. As you know, Genshin Impact is available on PC, mobile, and console. But so is Gera Buso. And personally, I would recommend the mobile version because it's completely free to use. Depending on which server you play and where you live, you could get even better results. For example, people in the US on 40 to 50 ping, you can drop all the way down to 30 ping or even lower. But what's really important to many of you is that it's completely safe to use as well. You won't get banned from your favorite game by improving your ping using the service. So as you saw me doing in the beginning, fixing your ping is super easy with Gear Up Booster. And for some parts of this video, I'll be playing with Gear Up Booster turned on just to show how effective it is. If you'd like to check it out for yourself, it's free on mobile and free to try on PC when you use my referral link down in the description and the pinned comment. So there's nothing to lose. Why not try it today for free, get lower ping and support the channel all at the same time. Thank you to Gear Up Booster for supporting the channel and let's get back to that video. All right. So we're back. So I pulled him maybe two, three hours ago on stream. YouTube.com slash InVaneYT. By the way, you're probably watching on that platform right now. Why am I saying that? But check it out on Twitch and YouTube. So the things that we've farmed for him currently, I've got artifacts. I'll go through those later. I've got so many artifacts. Hopefully we have something good there. I don't know what enhancement material he needs in the world, so we'll figure it out or we're going to have to punch some things really hard. Other than that, I've got his boss materials, but I think I'm missing a little bit, so we're going to have to go get a little bit more of that. I think two more runs should be plenty or maybe one more, two more, something like that. In terms of his talents, I think he uses order, so these are all farmed up. Hopefully that's enough. Weapons, I've, we've got a few options. I think there's a craftable that's apparently really good, but I've also got some five-star options and his local specialty. I don't know why. They always make the beetles one of the hardest things to farm. We've got the Oni Kabuto. We've got the Scarab. And now we have a sub detection unit, all of which were pretty big pains in the ass to get, okay? We've got a couple more we need of this, so I'll go grab these in the video as well. But we've also got more things to farm. I think even though we've farmed a ton, and I mean a ton of artifacts since that set's come out, I think we still need to do a little bit more. So I'm going to do maybe 10, 15 runs in the video. Hopefully we'll get something good. But first of all, Look at this guy. Look at him. Look how beautiful his animations are. What? I'm gushing. It, this is awesome. This is so sick. I just wanted to see all his animations. I've seen the punching. Amazing. I don't know what his E or Q does yet. Can you do your idol, please? Oh, what? he's kind of like five from League of Legends. What else can that hand do apart from punch really hard? Why is he a cryo unit? Huh? Someone explain to me. Why is he cryo? Whoa when he's so freaking hot. I, I don't understand, but uh, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Other reasons I love this character, okay? I was destined to love this character because if we quickly just change the language, I made sure to download this ahead of time because it's like 15 gigabytes for each language pack. Okay, it's massive. We will now no longer understand anything he says, but he will sound 
hot. Okay, do you understand? The English dub sounds hot too, but I love the voice actor that they picked. It's perfect, okay? I have to confess, I am a huge Jojo fan, so the fact that they got Daisuke Ono, who voices Jotaro, is insane. Outside of his auto attacks, I'm glad we actually get to use these, because a lot of characters, they come out, like Nuvalet, his charge attack is his whole thing. You never get to see these animations. I mean, they're not that amazing, but you would never get to see this, because he all he does is hold down his thing and kind of big, big blasts, you know? Let's go find out what his burst looks like. I, I need to go outside. I've also apparently heard that he can build ice bridges. I don't know how. Can I just punch forward forever and then just build a bridge from Narnia to here? Ain't no way, right? Also, oh my god, his, his butt. <clears throat> Why would you do this to me, Miho? I can't. It's right in the middle of the screen. What do you want me to do? Oh, oh. Yo, no, no way. Isn't this OP? I can now just walk over water? Like, yeah, it will take some time, but this costs no stamina. Wait, this is broken, no? Dude, who needs boats? That technology is useless. Okay, sure, you can travel 10 times my speed, and you just use fuel and I have to punch the shit out of this water. But look at this. I've almost crossed half the lake <laughs> and it's been 10 minutes. The other thing I've realized is that his whole kit looks like he just punches people, which is like very like Heizo. What I'm excited about is, does that mean I can build him to literally just be like a Jojo character? Like he's literally going to be Jotaro and Star Platinum. He just auto orders. It's kind of the best thing ever. I'm not going to lie. Okay, let's see the burst. Oh! <gasps> Oh, oh, it, oh, instead of going big, I guess I'm going home. He died for our sins. All right. <laughs> well, that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next. OK, but how about we do the trial? Because I do need to understand how he works. So maybe let's test out my reading comprehension before we test him out. And then we can do this trial to figure it out. So Reesley, Rio the Slay, Risley, I'm going to say all three, Risley, all four. See, I've got my bases covered. If I see a single comment about how I pronounce it. OK, I have trauma. Ever since I pronounced Sino as Sino, it was over. OK, that video has like 600,000 views. Do you know how many comments I have about how I pronounce his name? No more. Risley, Risley. Risley, Rio, that guy, the guy, normal attacks and challenge attacks all deal crowd damage. His elemental skill enhances his normal attacks, but also causes him to lose HP at the same time. So we punch harder, but he hurty. Okay, easy to understand. When Rio's HP is relatively low, his charge attacks will be enhanced and he will regain HP after punch. So when he gets really low HP, his charge attacks do more damage and he heals from them. Elemental burst does big punchy. We saw that before. Additional elemental orbs will drop during the trial. So so it sounds like you want him to punch. My question is, do we play him in freeze or melt or vaporize? Oh, okay, we can't do vaporize, but I mean, let's try. Okay, so that's melt. Oh my, yo, the, this one hit of that animation that feels really good. I don't know what it was, but he punched so fast. I don't, okay, I'm dying. I'm just, I have skill issue. Heal, okay, now the burst. Oh my god. Okay, it's very cool. I thank you, Mihoyo. I think I get it. All right, but wow, that was kind of amazing. Also, look, that's how many primos I have left. It was the perfect amount. He came, I won my 50-50. I shouldn't have pulled for the book. Okay, I'm going to confess. Nuvalet's book, it's good. It almost ruined my life, okay? Don't don't pull for the weapons, okay? Just don't. I'm still living the trauma of that moment. Uh, but that doesn't mean we're going to not spend a lot on Rio or Risley. We have a lot of resin still to farm for him. A lot of fragile resin to bust out. So I think he still needs a couple more boss runs. So if I quickly sum this up, 46. Okay, so we need at least two more runs of the boss. So let's go do that first. Oh, okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're being chilling. Let's do a new friendship team. We need big dragon daddy in the front, little baby in the back. Look, soon, soon he'll be strong. But right now I could sneeze on him. He will die. He will fall over or his bones will explode and he he will die. So I think that's that. And Tartaglia. Okay. How about we level up, up first? All right. And I'm just going to use four books. Look, I'm not farming all that. I'm not farming 800 XP to make it work. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I wasted 100 XP. I've changed. Vayne's changed now that he has 60,000 subscribers. Okay. He's a different person now. Look at him big timing us with his 193 XP wasted. What is he saying? I don't know what he said, but it sounded hot. Okay. Let's, let's go get that translation. It is my honor to win your trust. Uh, I'm sure he said that. Let's go get him another 300 XP. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you still want a venti video. A lot of you guys might not know that. <clears throat> I'm embarrassed to say this. Venti versus Kazaha was 
my first video ever. Um, it's privated now. That video scrubbed, gone. It came out maybe a month and a bit before the video that really took off, which was an Ayaka video, which I also violently cringe at. I really want to private that video, but it feels, it feels like I'm doing a sin when I do that. Like it's, it's part of the history of the channel. It's what got us here or got things going. So I think I might leave it, but we'll see. Look, let me know if you want a venti video. He is technically leveled, but I've never shown him off. I've never made a video about him. So let me know what type of video about venti you'd also like to see. If you do want to see venti, that is. All right. Let's level him up. So true, bestie. That's so true. I I feel you on that one. S someone tell me what he said. This is like when you you are having a conversation with someone, but you don't fully understand what they're actually saying. So you're like, ah, ah you're nodding your head along. And then they are like, like looking for you for a response. Like the answer is not a yes or a no, or like I'm a list. I'm listening. They, they want you to say something. You're like, ah, ha, ha. You do the little awkward laugh. Ah. <laughs> Just me? Okay. Thank you. So while he has a full cyclone of fire behind him, he's going to casually level up. He's probably thinking in his head right now, I should have never left that prison. I want to go back in my hole right now. 69 crit rate. Is that? Ah, that's the... That's the number. That's the funny number. Why is it a funny number? No one knows. Leave in the comments what you think that number. No, no, please don't do that. Please. That was just a joke. Please don't do that. Please. I'm going to get my channel terminated. Alrighty, let's keep it going. He's probably going to say something to me now. I don't know what he's going to say, but it will sound hot. Huh? Yeah, you're so right. Oh, that's it. Uh, I mean, cool. I guess I'll, 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 I'll catch you later then. So that's pretty much it. We just need... Oh God, what the hell is this? Okay, these are the gears. I think they should be okay to farm. I have not been farming them very much, but we have the shop. Oh no. Oh no. Did I buy them? Oh, okay. Well, we may need to farm some of those. While we do that, I'm going to go beat up a circle. You ever been so frustrated you just beat up shapes? Not even enemies. You just fight a circle. Yeah, it's been one of those days. Get out of here. Okay. Now I'm just going to spray my hose on you. Like when you're trying to teach a cat how to behave and it's doing bad things, you get the spray bottle out. That's what I'm doing right now. You think you can scare me with that big scary sound? Because it's working. Please die. Is that enough to finish him off? Uh oh, please. It would be so embarrassing to die in a video which i can edit and remove all the death scenes mr editor you would you would remove those right you would never show me dying in a video right because i'm a pro gamer and that doesn't happen anyways okay that's it right we've got his materials there oh next problem let's face each problem one at a time we need some of these beetles oh man i think there's some over here let's go for it i guess boom okay so that's these ones done we've got oh okay Yay. How many of those do we have? Because we're going to have to use those for talents too, don't we? It's always the local mobs that I have the most trouble with. That or getting the specialties. All right, it's this one here. We have 400 of the meshing gear. Hopefully that's enough. We'll find out very soon. So far in the video, I've been playing with gear up booster turned off and my ping is pretty rough. I'm not going to lie. But now with gear up booster turned on, we're going to play out the rest of the video. So to turn it on, all I have to do is click Genshin Impact, click boost, wait for it to load and and there we go. It's able to figure out which server is closest to me with the least traffic and automatically adjust it when needed. So it's lowered my ping. And now that we're back in game, you can see the ping has dropped significantly. Even for me on NA, I'm still getting some improvement, but the biggest improvement is like how I showed in the start of the video where I'm using it on an Asian server and I get the best results. But try it out for yourself and see what works best for you. All right, so now that my ping's better, let's go finish leveling up Rio. I think he needed a couple of of these and i think we needed some of those cogs so let's do a batch of 50 two crows should give me five okay she gave me five can't really complain i can't complain actually i wanted more come on let's do another batch of 50 please okay never mind i shouldn't complain she gave me less one i'll never open my mouth again you know what that's fine let's level him up so we've got one extra of these these some extra of this which we can use on the talent that means he's done mm-hmm Skida. That means he likes something. That's all I understand. Uh, uh, he's still talking. 
Uh, he's, he's still going. I don't know if that was part of his level up dialogue or he just started doing his idol and I didn't realize. Honestly, it's hard to tell. So let's go find out what he's been saying every single time. So apparently, uh oh, looks like I'll owe you a favor now. Why do you look even more pleased than me? Oh, a lot of dialogue. I like the sign of strength and hope. They give me a reassurance that tomorrow will be better than today. This isn't to be pessimistic, but it's important for the present to be without blah, 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 blah. Okay, uh, I love you too. <laughs> I just realized he looks like a cat. How did it take me so long? He's, 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 he's like cat ears. Let's finish leveling up Rio. So one more level. Weapon wise, I know there are a bunch that we can do. This apparently not that great on him because of the low base attack. This, I don't think we can actually proc very much. This one, I think it might be good on him. The only thing I'm worried about is if we get too much crit rate, we might have a problem because his best set gives crit rate. I realized that last episode, but he, this is also going to give him crit rate. If we have another cryo character, that's going to give him crit rate. We might be too heavy in the crit rate especially if we get a lot of substat rolls. So we got to be careful here. I think that's his best leveled up weapon so far. Apparently the solar pearl is also very good on him, but once again, crit rate and the free to play craftable by craftable. I mean, we got to go here. Oh, we should change his wings real quick. Um, is it bad that I kind of like his default? These can fit fine too, but I feel like he's just a scruffy man, you know, from, from a hole in the ground. So maybe we just give him these. Apparently this book is very good on him. Gives him attack and attack percent. And when you use your elemental skill, all elemental bonus damage is increased. This also gives you HP and it scales the elemental damage based on your refinement. So this is actually a really great free to play option for him. I would probably recommend this, especially if you're free to play, but because I don't have enough billets to get that to R5, also I don't have enough ore. I think we're going to run with this and just pray we don't over crit. Next up, we've got artifacts. So I'll show off what I've got now, all of this. Okay, wait, if I have the set again, you can see 184 of this set. I've been grinding a lot. And some of these, I think they have potential. Some of these, they're garbage. Okay, I'm just going to be honest. Some of these ones, garbage. I need help. Okay, we're still going to have to go and back and farm a lot. But let me show off what we do have. Okay, he needs attack percent and crit. Maybe a little bit of ER. Nothing else really matters too much. Maybe EM if you're doing reactions, but I don't think I'm building him that way. So something like this potentially could be good. Something like this, if it rolls godly, it could be very good. That would be like five rolls, but if it goes really high, it could be like five high rolls. The last three can be high rolls. We could go with something like this, but it's got crit rate. And like I said before, we don't want crit rate. It's a bit awkward. So his flower options, at least for what I have, aren't very good. Maybe this one. I'll level up a few of these and we'll see if we get anything good. Then I'm going to the mines. Okay. I know he just came out of a hole, but I need to, I need to go in that hole so that we can go get some artifacts. Why? Why would you five times bonus when I put one thing in? That makes me so sad. It's not looking good. They look pretty rough around the edges. There's this piece, which we could try. Okay, ER. I don't think he needs that much ER, but as long as you go attack and crit damage from now on, maybe you could be okay. Okay, crit damage, really, really low crit damage roll. It, it went flat attack. This, this is horrible. Well, that piece we're going to need to farm. Here, I think we have a few options, right? This one looks actually pretty good. It's currently on my... Lenny, it's got three crit damage, two crit rate, so that's five crit rolls, and two attack, so that's seven in total for damage stats. I think that's pretty good. Alternatively, I have this, which also has five crit rolls, but some HP, some defense doesn't really do it. The worst case, you know, I also have this piece, which I think I'm gonna level up and see if it goes better. This is a really good piece. We also have this feather as well. So, a couple options. Let's start with the one with four lines. Ideally, as much crit damage as possible, if not crit rate and ER, if not EM. Okay, crit rate, not complete waste yet. We'll see how much more we, okay, crit damage. Okay, okay, maybe this is the piece. Okay, yeah, uh, okay, wait, that's crazy. Oh, what did it go? I think it went crit rate. So what is that? Three, three, two ER rolls. Okay, so six crit rolls or five crit rolls plus two attack. But this one has ER. What is that? 38.5 crit value. This one's got 30, but two attack rolls. Oh, the attack rolls are kind of juicy. I'm not going to lie. Like ER is great. EM is great, but I don't know how many reactions I'm going for. I might just want to build him like punch really hard. You know, I'm a simple guy. I want to just punch him really hard. Maybe we go with this. I know this is a great piece. I'm not going to toss it aside, but maybe I like this more for now. The main stat that matters is crit damage and attack, and this one has more of that. So let's go with that. In terms of his sands, we're going to have to look for a pretty good attack sands. This one might be good. Like these, this has way too much crit rate between these two, but this one, 
No way. Crit damage. And it was a great roll too. Okay, crit rate. Look, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Okay, yeah, we're balancing it out. I get it. One more crit damage roll, please. <sighs> Crit rate. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to worry. I'm starting to worry that we might have too much crit rate. With these two artifacts, plus the weapon, we're at 54%. This artifact set four piece gives us another 36. We're going to be at 90% crit rate with just these artifacts. Oh God. I feel like we're going to waste some stats. It almost feels inevitable at this point. Regarding the rest of the set, I'm just going to be honest. I have no good crit damage sets. This one maybe is okay. I guess we'll equip it for now. I don't have any cryo goblets that really fit him these ones i don't have anything great either to be honest like this one is okay maybe if it goes crit damage twice we'll cope and, and say that's okay but it's looking very likely like we're gonna need to go back in the mines so let's level this up Ugh, that's a little Ugh. well we're gonna keep it on him for now this is his temporary build we're gonna fix him up so we want a good cryo goblet big attack big crit damage minimal crit rate that looks like it goodbye i actually got chumyun c6 toma c6 and dory c6 from this banner by the way so let me know in the comments if you want to see any of those three characters next as well as venti i'll try to figure out which videos i'm gonna put out soon based on what you guys tell me i'll make them all right so for now this is what Reasley looks like he's got 1.4k attack remember he's gonna get 36 crit rate from when he starts punching people right so that's instantly 93 crit rate only 168 crit damage i know why it's because man has a level zero crit damage circlet that's gonna go up like another 50 at least okay attack this is actually very promising defense and it's flat defense okay it's going hp it's, it's it's doomed this piece is doomed okay just know that when we fully level him up he should be like 230 crit damage and when he's max stacks he should be like almost 100 percent crit rate so the ratio is going to look beautiful we still need to level up his talents and i'm not done with the artifacts just yet i've got five runs here we'll probably blow a bunch of fragile resin but maybe before we farm that let's level up his talent so i can at least use him i think in terms of talent priority hmm, let me figure this out i might look into the numbers a bit more but i'm thinking it's probably his normal attacks because he's punching a lot maybe his e next because it buffs his punching and probably burst last that's what i'm thinking but let me do a little bit of research i think i was bang on he's pretty much just like new valette normal attack first then e skill then burst let's just start leveling him i guess and we're starting with 57 million more let's see how much is in the tank once we're done actually we did spend some leveling him up already and his artifacts we probably spent like close to a million on him already Okay, so Talon's all 666. I haven't even read these yet. So when his HP is less than 60%, the next charged attack will be enhanced. It will not consume stamina and will deal 50% increased damage after hitting. will restore his HP. And you can do this every five seconds. Wait, does that mean if I... I'm so sorry, we're about to... He's just going to have a little trip, you know? Okay, so I guess he doesn't burn HP that way. Oh God, that will be too much. How about something like this? He'll live this, right? Oh! So let me try this again. I thought it just occurred to me. It said if you hit someone, you heal. And the stamina, it doesn't cost any stamina to use the ability. But does that mean that if I don't hit someone and I'm under 60% health, I can charge the tech forever? Ora ora. Do you know where my brain's going with this? Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, that's very loud. But we have infinite ice machine and he walks for you. So you don't even have to hold a button. Oh my God, I could travel from one side of the country to another. Uh, let me figure out what his other talents do. Okay, outside of... When his current HP increases or decreases, if he's in his chilling penalty set, I don't know what that is. Conferred by Ice Fang. What are these? Okay, that's his E. Okay, chilling penalty will gain one stack of prosecution edict. edict? Okay, it sounds like when my HP moves, I get attack. If I'm over 50%, it gives me this. Okay, so it looks like E just gives me damage increase based on... Wait, no, just gives me damage increase. And it costs me HP to punch people. If I get low, I do a charged attack, I heal up. Very simple, I think. He sounds pretty easy. And what's this. When he does weapon enhancement material, he has a 10% chance to double. All right, just more ways for you to gamble away your hard earned drops and trying to double them. So why not? But let's go level up his talents. Okay, we need more gears and we need more order. Okay, I can do that. So I know we can do his other talents, but I kind of feel like I just want to level his auto attack. I mean, uh, let's do his E a little bit too. We want the flower. Sure, now we have a bunch of flowers. 
I know the burst is not the highest, but I don't think that's where most of his damage comes from anyway. It looks like he's built to punch people, okay? The burst is just a pretty animation. That's what I think, at least. Artifact-wise, we still need to get him a couple better artifacts, but as he stands down with a half-leveled circlet, he has just under 2k attack. He's going to be almost 100 to 200 crit ratio, and this is only going to get higher. His ER may be a little low, but I don't think bursting is that important. And we're going to have a ton of cryo damage bonus as well. So let's go try him out, I guess. But real quick, if you already made it this far in the video, these videos take a lot of time to record, edit, and are pretty expensive to make. So if you want to support the channel and make sure that Mr. Editor and I can eat for the next month, please consider liking and subscribing and checking out our sponsor in the pinned comment. It helps a ton. Also, for those who care, I have a second channel for my upcoming VTuber re-debut. It's been in the works for almost half a year, so come check it out and leave a sub. Hopefully, you'll be able to see the debut live at the end of this year. Maybe I can just punch something in the overworld. And honestly, even though the ping is still, you know, it's in NA, but I'm in Australia, right? It's honestly so much better now that I've got gear up booster turned on. All right, so let's go find something to punch. So normally if I punch 5, 6k, 9k in one of them, that's fine. Check his stats. The set working. When the current HP increases or decreases, that's how I get the stacks. Okay, so I need to use the E and then I start punching. Okay, my HP is increasing slash decreasing. I am now at 93% crit rate. Okay, and okay, 20k in there as well. Pretty good. 2.3k attack. Okay, okay, I'm feeling him a little bit. This is without any buffs from the rest of the team, by the way. Like, we're not we're not doing anything else yet. Like, no swirling, no Yunjin, no anything. What if I do a charged attack? Did I just see a 40k or am I crazy? Okay, 15k for the charge attack. Let's see a burst. Okay, it's it's not amazing damage, but it seems like it's good for group situations. Like you'd be able to hit a bunch of people with that. How about let's go on an artifact farming montage to see if we can fix him before we do our dailies and really test them out. Okay, none of these matter to me. That's one run down. Let's keep going. Save it, save it. Okay, okay. I know he doesn't scale the best with HP. It's mainly his heal and that sort of thing, but maybe if it rolls attack. Look, it's got potential. All I'm saying is it's got potential. Nope. 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 Beautiful. Thank you. Garbage. Lovely. These suck. All right. It's the wrong set. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I was so excited. It was a circlet finally and it's just poopy. Wrong set again. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. What, like, what is this? Sure. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I've lost my mind at this point. Okay. They're all the other set. Cool. 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 Why did I expect anything, huh? I should have known. It was garbage. I just love dumping resin into domains for no return. I think it's run number 14. <sighs> Alright, fingers crossed. Give me just some random absurdly good artifact that I can boast about. Hydro damage, attack, crit damage. Uh, if you were maybe cryo, we could start talking, but look, I'll, I'll lock it. I'll lock it. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? What did I just spend the last half an hour of my life doing? Okay. What did we decide? This one, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is probably the one that I would say could use the most improvement. And it also happens to be the one that has this double crit roll. If it goes attack, that would be perfect. Okay. Not everything in life can be perfect. If you go crit damage, you will be still acceptable. It's it's looking good. Three crit rolls so far. Okay, crit rate, I guess. But I would really like some more crit damage if that's okay with you. Uh, I guess we're keeping this. Okay, what that means is we move to the circlet. This is probably our best bet. Let's see if we can get some more attack rolls, maybe. Flat defense is really not it. Oh, dude, just went defense again. Ah, oh, funny, funny number though. Ha ha ha. So this is my rear. 1.9 thousand attack, almost 2,000. Pretty much 2,000 actually. Crit rate, once we stack this up, he's borderline 90 to 100%. That's not a problem. 220 crit damage, a little bit at ER. And when he's out on the field, this should be about 70 something percent. So I think good amount of damage to them. Let's sort out his team now. What I'm thinking is we've got Riesle, we've got Zongli, we've got Mika to give him more attack speed and a battery. I don't like using Mika, but we're going to have to. 
Okay, he's a little bit better than in English, but I think he gives the same energy. Finally, look, you could use things like Shenhai as well, but I just want to punch faster. So that's what's important to me. And then we've got Yunjin. My Yunjin, I don't think she's amazing by any stretch, but I just realized we have three polearm characters. Um, Favonius, Favonius, Favonius. Hmm, maybe I take your Favonius. And then Zumli holds like a... That's my strongest black tassel? It feels illegal. I shouldn't be doing this. But anyway, he's got 50. 50,000 HP. Mika, I think you just want no bless, right? He's got 30,000 HP. Pretty good. How's his ER? Yeah, he'll be fine. Talents, this is only level 6. We could do a little bit better than that, right? Boom. We've got extra 2% attack speed. Fantastic. Also, this might low-key be cheating, but I've got Yunjin, who buffs normal attack damage, but her Constellation 6 also gives attack speed, so I'm just gonna slot her in there as well. So, is this my really janky Rio team? Like, I'm sure there's ones out there that do crazy cryo damage. You know, you put Kazaha in, you put Shenha in, he punches very hard. I'm sure that exists. But I don't want to punch hard. I want to punch like I'm Star Platinum, okay? In an episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and I want to order order. Also, it's near midnight, so I'm not going to scream that out loud. My neighbors will evict me. They will call the police. So instead, what we're going to do is let's go do our commissions. Unfortunately, doing our commissions means I'm back to friendship. <clears throat> Farming. Sir, hello? I thought you would do a little bit. Something wrong with him? I mean, 10k is not bad, but I was expecting like a big, big number. Okay, the good thing is he punches like really fast and every time he says ura, ura. it kind of makes me happy it makes a part of my brain go "Ooh, that you knew that thing he said the thing he said the thing what the hell is this thing is this the one where i have to time it my punches say less i'm not gonna miss a single one Look at that. Look at him go. Also, I realized his signature weapon gives attack speed as well and increases normal attack damage. Unfortunately, I'm not rolling for that. But for anyone lucky enough to get it, congratulations. That sounds amazing. And there's one last commission. You're underground. This better not be hide and seek again. I swear. I knew it. I knew it. It's you guys again. Okay, first guess. Did I do it right? Or did I have to pick up all three? Doesn't matter, we're getting out of the cave. This man is free. What a great view, you know? Sun's out, lush green grass, and, and straight ahead of me is a, a whole bakery. Did they really have to draw them like that? <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's do this. We got this, we got this, and now we're gonna start punching. So we're doing about 16k a, a punch, 25,000 for a charged attack, but I'm punching really fast. I think I saw a 30k in there. When he's going, he's going. He's punching very fast. This is without the buffs active, by the way. I mean, you should be pretty much unkillable like this, actually. Okay, not the fastest, but I also had to charge energy at the start, but not bad either. I feel like he's pretty good. So I realized that the dancing robot and his... Dancing partner. They're cryo resistant, I think, which doesn't really work well for me. So you know what? I'm going to go beat up this guy for some energy. And then you know what? My arch nemesis is and has always been, by the way, it's circles. Okay, so we're going to go find that circle thing that we've been farming to get him materials. We meet again circle. So he's punching, he's punching a little charged attack in there. Twenty three thousand. Not bad. Only thing is the cooldown on some of these buffs. Though, let me just double check. Is Mika's buff purely on the E? I think it's purely the E, so I don't even need to burst. What am I doing? I've gotten everything. I guess I just punch now. A little charged attack in there. A little burst. What did that do? I can't even see the number. Okay. I that, that was a skill issue. That was not the character issue. That was 100% on me. Okay, you know what? I don't like this comp. <laughs> I thought I would like it. It doesn't punch that hard. He punches fast, but he doesn't punch that hard. What if we did Kazaha? We put a Shenha in there and Shinchu. So he should freeze them so they can't beat me up as hard. And hopefully this gives me enough of a buff to do everything else. So Shenha, she's got her signature. Do I have enough ER for her? 150. Yeah, it's pretty low. Okay, let's see if this works. Mr. Dragon, I'm gonna punch you once. Kazaha's gonna do his thing where he kind of swirls all over you. I'm gonna... Sh hello? Shinchu buff. EQ. I'm gonna buff up. Okay, how high are you punching now? 20, 30. Oh my... Okay. It's feeling a little different. I've immediately noticed it's a lot more damage. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Uh oh. Dodge. Huh? That was not a dodge. That was not even close to a dodge. Definitely a lot more damage when you use Kazaha. Shenha. Hmm. Maybe I can find a 
balance though. I mean, the only other comp I can think of is Melt, which would be Bennett Chung Ling. Oh God, is this going to be a mistake? All right, you know what? There's only one way to find out. Let's try it out. Okay, you know what? Even if this comp is not going to work, I still love him. This is the last team I think can make sense. You can either use Sucrose or Kazaha, honestly, I think. Either or. I probably should have swirled the Cryo before I started this, actually. That is one mistake I immediately realized. Dude, stop. Let me punch you. You've ruined it. You've ruined this. Okay, he's doing a lot of damage, though. I'm not gonna lie. That's the... That's the... Oh, my God. Okay, finish him off with a burst. He kind of made it very hard for me. I couldn't stand on my buff to heal or get extra attack, but I kind of still beat him up really hard the only thing i might worry about is like how survivable this team is but it's pretty much the same as like a child international in that sense so i guess just be good i guess <laughs> just play better so we've leveled him up we've played him a little bit let's talk how he really is now outside of dumping a ton of moro and resin into him and pre-farming everything except what we showed in this video i think he's pretty good his actual like innate damage not awful but i don't think it's as good as something like nuvalet who just came out before him and it's it's very hard not to compare the two because they only you know just came out of patch apart or very close to each other you instead can do really cool stuff like this wait you can just punch the water and build infinite ice bridges he's the first cryo catalyst character unless you're talking about ayaka no one else can really do this so this is kind of cool i think just his personality and design is probably my biggest draw in terms of his meta placement i don't think he's gonna be as crazy as a nuvalet or a must pull but honestly like this game you can pretty much beat it with whatever you like at this point everyone can use like a free to play hyper bloom team in clear abyss so really just pull for who you like and you look he has a lot of personality he's kind of cool to look at i think i got a lot of satisfaction of just punching stuff i should tell my therapist that no sorry <laughs> definitely do try him out though if you do want to see if you like him in the, in the trial i definitely had a lot of fun with him and yeah that's kind of my thoughts on Rizly rio the sleigh that's it thank you so much bullies for making it to the end of the video make sure to like sub and hit the bell if you haven't already and make sure to do the same for the second channel and once again thank you to today's sponsors gear up booster for making this video possible please do check them out it's a great service comes with a free trial and there's literally no risk in trying it out and seeing if your ping gets better. Lastly, you can find me streaming several times a week on Twitch and links to all my socials down in the description. Love you all, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.